I'm still totally addicted to that fucking theme song. Dream Daddy. Mm. All right, time to play this bitch again. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. <gasps> Who could it be? Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with your kid? <laughs> Your kid doesn't look all too happy to see me, um... <laughs> right... This guy looks very active, um... I recognize him as being one of the dateable dads. And apparently we have a bit of a history with this fellow. Active dad, an actor dad. I like you, actor dad! <laughs> Looks like you had a bit of an accident with your eyebrow there, but hey... It uh, adds to the actor dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and he's coming jogging up to us. Of course he is. Craig? Darling, you're looking absolutely fabulous. Bro. Oh, we're on bro name basis? This is great. Bro. <laughs> oh. Holy wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. I'd like to see a whole lot more of him. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow. You, you, you look great. <laughs> Haha, -ha, yeah. I cleaned up my act. Yeah, you're looking pretty squeaky clean to me, I must say. You bathe regularly, baby? Oh wait, I can't call you baby. I call Matt baby. You're not the baby, even though you have a baby. Get a baby. Cleaned up his act, are you kidding me? He's ripped. <laughs> yeah, I am too though. This is Amanda. This is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. <laughs> that just opens up a whole lot of fanfiction nonsense. I don't want even want to touch that with a 10-foot pole. Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. You don't ever tell a teenage girl that they're big, okay? <laughs> I had this happen to me once when I was about 16. And I'm pretty tall, okay? I'm pretty self-conscious about it at the best of times. But when you're an impressionable 16-year-old girl and friend of a friend comes up and say, Wow, God, you're big. Um, how are you meant to take that, bro? <laughs> I told him he was a little short ass because he was shorter than me. Huh. Hello and hello, cute yet freaky baby nice. with a spooky face. Oh, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. Shit, man. I am shit at keeping friends. Well, how'd I let a hot uncle this go? I can't even, like, speak right now. I'm just staring into his beautiful eyes. <laughs> but, like, why would you not keep up fucking friendship with this guy? He's adorable. This is River. What the fuck? River. Okay. He picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. <laughs> Daddy. Oh, I don't want you to call me that anymore. <laughs> Fucking ruined it. Are you baby? No. Come on. I'm smarter than this. Fabio, I'm not endorsed by you, okay? You dumb shit. <laughs> nah, dude. River's my kid. And it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers because we're out fucking all night and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? Hmm. <clears throat> I was working out in California, the gayest city in the world, and just relocated the business pack to Maple Bay. Yeah, and do you you live near the Pogo Coffee House, per chance? <laughs> Smashly. Oh, man. Oh, man. Ashley is her name. <laughs> I don't know. Especially. Oh, you're a divorcee. I guess it's better than being a widower like me. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. There's twins? Twins! Oh. Holy shit. I like this guy's voice. <laughs> I don't know if you heard it just then, but he just goes, ah, in my ear. Because <laughs> I'm wearing it. What is your kid doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing bubbles at me like oh my god I hate babies I'm so glad my kid's older than yours it's kind of a deal breaker the fact this guy's got a baby 
Kig stand Craig as a father of three. You're beating me. Oh, haha, yeah, it was my old college nickname. I can think of a few better nicknames for you. He got it because he did a lot of kick. Oh, that's, yeah, thank you for that enlightening <laughs> insight. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink for... I, she's 17, I'm pretty sure she oh. knows what a fucking keg stand is. Because she's a little shit and she's done all this stuff before, probably. He was very good at it. Yeah, he looks good upside down. Ah, oh, bro, I hate to be that guy, but in the middle of my daily jog... You should not be jogging with a baby strapped to you. They can barely hold their heads up. What the fuck are you doing <laughs> running with this thing on? Get a fucking stroller, you bum. Oh. You jog daily? I jog never. <laughs> I've never been jogging. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Hmm. <laughs> well, it's never too late to get back on it, dude. You should join me sometime. I already know I'm not going to go for this guy, like... <laughs> Active people annoy me because they always fucking rub it in your face, like, Oh, dude, I went to the gym today and made kissy faces at myself in the mirror. Like, no one cares, Brad. Just take your shitty selfie and put on Snapchat where I can ignore it. Fuck. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you tell him, Fabio. Come on, it'd be f I really doubt it would be fun, Craig. We could grab breakfast afterwards and, like, undo all the good we did by carbo-loading. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Even your kid looks like it doesn't agree with you. She's just like, look at her face. Help me. Help me. I've got wicked whiplash. This dumb cunt keeps jogging with me strapped to him. Help. All right, sure. Sounds great. Yeah, I'm not fucking going jogging with you. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Okay, bye. I'm calling social services. Craig gives a little wave, push, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Huh? Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. Sounds fake, but okay. Amanda. He opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. <laughs> it was unholy. <laughs> Ooh, yuck. He's nasty. He jogs, he was jogging. <laughs> yeah, he got clean, I guess. Got off the sauce, as they say. Oh my god, that was so clever. You need to give me a fucking like on my YouTube video for that line. Please. Yeah, you see that little like, little thumb up symbol down below? Yeah, click that. Thanks very much, because I'm fucking clever. Anyway, we better get home. I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. How old am I meant to be, by the way? Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Did we even finish, like, unpacking? Yeah. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. Really? Hmm. You're, well, I'm not worried about you. Like, yeah. <laughs> I'm worried about me and all the dads I have to date. You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. Oh, is she going to college? Ah, She would be right. Aww. So Fabio must be getting clucky because she's leaving. And he's like, I'm looking for a daddy who also has kids that are younger than my baby. Yes, my Mandy Pandy. I'll get a dog or something. No, I'll just get three kids. Because <laughs> obviously I'm going to go for fucking jog boy. A dog. I'll get three. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean, if I date Fluffy Man, he's got a dog and a kid. A, a better kid than not what I've got. <laughs> Much smarter. Hmm. Oh my gosh. I forget in America you have fucking male slots. So weird. Let's see where you're going to college. McGowan. McGowan? College of Art and Design. Hmm. I'm scared. When have you ever been scared of anything? You're a fucking hard ass. Hmm. Entire future. Eh? 
Yeah, well, hurry up. She opened it with her teeth. Mm -hmm. I told you this bitch is crazy. <laughs> uh, what does it say? The admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, 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 blah. We are. Uh, I can't take it. Suspenseful. Aww. Am I stuck with you? Oh man, I'm stuck with this kid. Did you only apply to one college? <laughs> um, yeah, their admissions officer, you probably should have listened to them. <sighs> I'm hugging her against my will. I, I wouldn't have done that. <laughs> Hmm. I'm so mean to her. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? Yeah. I mean, Fabio, she is a woman. She's saying she's fine. It means she's not fine. Yeah, her face is the opposite. No, you should push it. Comfort your daughter. What is wrong with this, hmm. this family? I fucking... <laughs> Where's the support? Uh. Well, at least you'll be with your friends tonight by the sounds of it. <laughs> Why, you're gonna have a big lesbian orgy in your room? <laughs> I've conveniently already had plans for tonight. I do? Um. I'm totally gonna go clubbing. My outfit's already nice, Fabio. How dare you? <laughs> I think there was a thing on TV the other night. That said, if you're over 40 and you go to a club, it's considered really sad. So if you're nearing 40, chop chop. What am I going to do? Go to bed. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I'm not actually going out of the house like you requested. I'm just going to crash in my bed. Alone. <laughs> I get you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. They must not have uh, moved very far. Like, they seem to know quite a few people in this town and, like, her friends live real close. Oh, look in the back in the chair. There's a little pink kiwi bird. I'm a kiwi. Did you guys know that? If you think my accent's weird, that's actually where I'm from. New Zealand. Not Australia or Britainland, okay? Yep, totally remembered. Totally did not care. Put on my pajamas and make myself a nice mug of mint tea. Mint is the worst. <laughs> can I choose the type of tea? Get ready for bed. I can hear Amanda and her friends laughing from her room, even though I told them to keep fucking quiet. Oh no, I'm the one who's meant to be quiet. Sorry. <laughs> I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends. Even if I can never remember their names. They're both Emma. Okay. Oh. Oh. Who de Do they know what time it is? It's like 5 p.m. <laughs> a handsome, clean cut man stands at my door brandishing a plate of cookies. Really? You, you, you think this cunt is handsome? Oh my god, he looks like he's here to buy my daughter! <laughs> Seriously, one of the dream daddies? Ew, he looks like that meme with like the well-dressed young man like standing on a pathway with his hands clasped in front of himself. Like he thinks he's a hard ass when really he looks like a ponce. Oh my god. Nah, you're you're fucking off the table. I bet your name's Brad. Hello. No. Goodbye. Hi, I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies and I just can't have these in the house or I'll eat them all. You look like you haven't touched a carb in eight years. Fucking liar. Fabio, yeah. See, fa even Fabio, the most gullible guy in this whole game, doesn't fucking believe you. <laughs> oh, where are my manners? Look at the gay hand just... <laughs> oh my. My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor, the whitest name ever. Oh yes, hi, I'm Fabio. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some. You got, you, why does everyone have a daughter? 
My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. You led me to believe that you made them. When really you're using probably like slave labor to make your kids make them for you. Fuck this guy. Joseph leans in and whispers. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Oh my god, I'm so hard right now. <laughs> what was the point of that? Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies. What are you, a dog? Did you smell them? Wow, cookies, huh? Yeah, go away, these are mine. So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. You said they were for me! This guy is a liar. I don't like him. Amanda dot dot dot. Well, thanks for the cookie. <laughs> Why do I have such a horrible daughter? <laughs> you are oh. horrible. Bye, bitch. Amanda Cumber and she's gone. That's my daughter. I wish she wasn't. <laughs> Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. You could have just said kids are tough to save me this conversation. Children in general are just tough. Yep, yeah, you could have led with that. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try raise more than two. Oh, oh God. I knew he'd have more. You under <laughs> Fabio, you're just being completely untactful right now. I don't like kids, but that doesn't mean you get to say the shit. What have you done? <laughs> you oh, uh, awkward. <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude, but you're admitting that I was rude. How? You're horrible. <laughs> oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again. <laughs> I wonder if it's too late to point out that there's like a penis shaped cactus back there. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. You can leave now. Is the missus. the missus? Really? Are you implying that my wife is black? <laughs> Mister, actually, and uh, I just outed myself. No, not anymore. He died. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Make this asshole feel as bad as you just made me feel. Okay, I'm pulling out the fucking dead husband card. Take that. It's like a Yu-Gi-Oh battle. I hope we have a Yu-Gi-Oh battle because you know how before we had a Pokemon battle? Yes. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh, yeah. See? Feels bad, man. Feels bad. I'm sorry for your loss. Yeah, I'm sorry you're such a retard. No, no. It's all right. Wow. This is uncomfortable. <laughs> We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware how awkward we both made things. Maybe we should kiss just to break the tension. I'm sorry, can you close the door real quick? Are you trying to leave after like making me reveal my dead husband's backstory? I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second I hear a knock on the door. Opening it I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh, is he doing the do-over thing like, Hi, I'm not an asshole now. Hey, I'm your new neighbor Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this- You just did! You literally just did! <laughs> I'm throwing a barbecue for the coldy sack. I like that word, sack. And I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What'd you say, pal? <laughs> Not your pal. Sounds great. You've been invited all over the place. You know, I just moved into my own new place and I'm not one neighbor has come by to say hey. I ain't got no cookies, I ain't got no cute dog, no nothing, nada, bada bing bada boom zip. I'm so jealous right now, I mean, it's not like I like random people coming to my door, but it sounds nice. <laughs> also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. Uh, we shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighborino, I'll let you get to bed since see you at 3pm on Saturday. Sure thing, neighborino. 
Jesse starts walking away but stops to think for a second and turns around. <gasps> Vogue. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. Oh, they forgot to do a capital letter where it says if. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Um, are you sure you should be allowed near children? <laughs> okay. Are you, that's nice. Wink. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Stop flirting with me. I can't take it. You're making me not think you're an asshole now. I'm weak to compliments. Bye. He seemed nice. Oh my god, were you listening to this whole conversation? Why is my kid so shit? Ugh. Yeah, you should be taking notes from the smooth motherfucker. I don't trust guys that are too smooth, just by the way. It means they've, uh, they've practiced. <laughs> that's why I like the awkward one at the start, Matt, because that's real life. In real life, no one is, should be smooth. You know, if you're being natural about things. See, you're already fitting in great. Yes. Oh. Did you eat all my cookies? Right. I didn't raise you like this. Go make me some cookies right now. Fucking Joseph's daughter next door made him cookies. God. Yeah, let me go to bed, everybody. Jeez.